Hi there fellow hobbies, this is Xuxi here from Therenic Studio and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to paint resin bases. I'm going to paint them in rocky terrain style using pigments but I'm also going to show you how to apply snow and also how to make a more swampy look type of base. When working with uh, resin bases, uh, for example like the ones we produce in the studio, um, Basically, the first thing to do is to uh, clean them with some soap to re uh, remove the uh, release agents. Uh, get some water and add some like fairy liquid or any type of liquid soap. And um, pop your bases in. And uh, using um, an ordinary kind of cheap, I don't know, 15p toothbrush, um, you can just uh, scrub them individually. And then once you've done that, let them soak for uh, a few minutes and um, uh, clean them up and dry them on uh, a towel. To get your bases uh, spray coated uh, faster, use a tape to stick them to a flat surface such as board um, or a box like this. Once you um, primed your base and it's completely dry, uh, we can start painting it. Although a nice tip is to actually apply uh, the grass uh, before you uh, apply the paint and the reason for that is to create a more realistic effect uh, when the grass is actually going to be covered by dust and mud so it, I think it looks more organic and realistic. So you're going to need some super glue and some grass uh, we don't want to overdo it and I also would advise do some bases with the bushes, some bases without. We'll have a few that have like one bush and a few that have a couple of bushes also to create a variety. Just apply some super glue where you want to get the bush and just stick one on. Once you've applied the bushes, um, you can add um, a second type of um, vegetation, which would be a mossy looking grass. Um, to do that, we're going to apply PVA around under the rocks and around the rim, just a little bit, with just an old brush that you don't mind getting spoiled. like that basically and then just get like just a pinch of that grass just like that and sprinkle it on top to get it stuck to the base if you apply just a little bit it'll just get a bit of a texture and a sort of grassy look without being over the top woodland The next step would be to apply uh, zenithal highlight of uh, Vallejo Air White. It, we're not applying it to make the base look white, we're applying just enough um, to make it look kind of faint grey with um, shading underneath the rocks. That's why we're applying it at an angle of about 45 degrees. Just apply it quite faintly and it's better just maybe have a few goes around the base rather than apply a lot in one go then this way you have more control uh, make the rocks a little bit brighter maybe also on the edges um, it's just that the shadow will eventually look very dramatic um, in the finished base Next I'm going to apply a wash onto the bases, uh, but first I, I will need to mix it. I'm using some mic pigments, I'm using grey and brown and some water. Um, you can use your own colour preferences, you can add a bit of green in the mix to make it look more swampy uh, or different tones of brown. Make the wash quite watery because you don't want it to be very strong on the base, you just want it to um, just go into the creases and stay there creating um, a more defined texture. Apply the wash all over the base 
quite generously. Let it sink into all the creases, but um, wipe it off the flat surfaces of the rocks. And um, make sure it's dry um, before we get on to the next stage. Using a medium sized brush, a uh, dry brush the, the base with white. Make sure not to um, overdo it, um, as you're only looking to highlight just a few edges of the rocks. Next, dry brush with Vallejo Chrome. You just want to give more definition to those areas you've just dry brushed white. Now I'm going to airbrush a gun corpse around um, the rocks and around the rim of the base. You don't need to airbrush uh, strongly in all those areas, just vaguely in some areas, miss some other areas, maybe stronger underneath a rock. So it, it, it has a more chaotic um, look to it. At this stage, if you're going for a swampy look, you can add a little bit of olive drab on the rim as well. Airbrush a little bit of black brown here and there under the rocks and around the rim, but don't cover up the uh, work you have done with a previous color. Just sort of dot it, so some areas are going to be dark, some areas are going to stay light. Mix black brown and black to get a darker brown tone which you will uh, spray very very little just to highlight the work that you've done, um, create depth under the rock but don't overspray the variation of color you already created around the base. It might be just like a few sprays on each base basically, something like that. Now we're going to weather the bases with some pigments. Um, you can use a combination of colors, uh, gray, brown, uh, whatever you know suits your theme. Uh, if it's more of a swamp look, you can um, use some dark green, um, grayish greens, uh, mustard colors. Another uh, pigment you can use is uh, rust. Um, be very very careful with rust as it's incredibly strong um, and after applying it a little bit of it to make it look stronger you can um, add a bit of water now add in water make it stand out and as rust happens with water it makes sense for it to be there so have a play around with your weathering and we're pretty much done. You can add snow to your base uh, by um, applying a mixture of baking powder, um, some PVA glue and some white paint. The white paint is quite important to the mixture because um, over time the powder tends to turn yellow or perhaps it's PVA glue, I'm not sure which one of them. So it's best to put a little bit of that just to make sure it actually stays white for forever really. Get the paste to quite thick consistency and don't apply maybe too much because I think less is more really. If you're going for a swamp look, um, I kind of thought it would be nice to add a bit of like greener bushes with some super glue and to blend them in I've uh, dusted them with a few pigments. Um, you can also add a water effect which will make it look a little bit wetter and create like some sort of river and uh, water shine. Um, I kind of squirted straight out of the bottle but you have to be careful because it can be quite runny. And you just literally just add it 
in a few places and just you know design it the way you like it and wait for it to dry now I'm gonna take some of that off but yeah finally finish the base off by painting uh, the rim with black Hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you have any questions about any steps of this video tutorial and see you guys next time.